I ask for the stupidest Minecraft ideas and you guys never disappoint. Let's get it. Villagers try to run away at max speed when you hold either a lead, a boat, or a minecart. Okay, let's see if this worked. Bam. Okay, so it's working. I think it's working. Oh my gosh, the rocket booster is turned on. <laughs> So let's see if this works with multiple villagers. So many haws. Let's get it. Oh no. <laughs> Very nice. What are you doing, my guy? <laughs> Your legs get shorter as you sprint and you eventually stop once they're fully gone. Okay, so as you see, I'm walking and oh my gosh, it actually works. My legs are getting shorter. Oh no. <laughs> It's really short now. <laughs> and I'm getting slower. Look at this. This is me trying to walk and this is me trying to sprint. I look so stupid. Look at this. <laughs> In order to regain my legs, I have to kill villagers. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. I can't even jump that high because my legs are so short. Hey, what's up, man? No, you don't. Hey, oh, yeah. It dropped a leg. So I can somewhat move. But the problem is, I cannot jump up this block. Wait, wait, wait. I can just mind this thing so i'm gonna go eat this and <laughs> as soon as i eat it my legs somebody grow back okay so come on get to the thing get to the leg that's 25 percent it is half almost there and there we have it this is back to normal however i didn't set a cap on how long your legs can be so <laughs> i can be taller than usual <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's more legs here. So I'm gonna like, take that. Nice. Eat. I am gonna be unstoppable pretty soon. So the longer my legs are, the faster I can walk. I think I can jump pretty high too. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, dude. I cannot even see myself. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. I'm so freaking tall. What happens if I jump? Oh, <laughs> oh no. Dude, I'm jumping so high. <laughs> when you feed a carrot a cookie, he blurts out random insecurities before dying. My wife left me for a chicken. <laughs> a chicken! So this basically means arrows multiply in midair. Okay, so I've just coded the thing and uh, let's see if this even works. Uh, let's get it. Oh no, it's happening. Oh, <laughs> so many freaking arrows. Whoa, that's so cool. So that was just from one arrow and so many arrows have spawned. And I can't even pick them up. Hey! <laughs> okay, so I've made it spawn even more arrows. Bam. Oh, but this is probably not a good idea. Oh, <laughs> so many. <laughs> oh, no. Every time you jump, a potato will fall out of the sky. Why? Jump. Oh, no, it's a potato. It's a free potato, though. It's not bad. <laughs> so, this is a problem because it's good. Okay, so, um. Bam. So, I've made potatoes explode when they hit the ground. This is really terrifying. I do not like this. Oh! Fly to a different country and kill a million villagers with style. Bruh. So, my PC can handle that, but I really cannot bring a PC on a plane. So, we need something that is portable, but also as powerful as my PC. Thankfully, we have the Red Magic Titan 16 Pro Gaming Laptop. This beast has an i9 14900HX processor with a 4060 graphics card. Definitely more than enough. But let's bring this bad boy and go on a journey. Yes, I actually flew to a different country for this stupid comment. So this is me coding this stupid idea, and here it is. I made my trident kill a gazillion villagers with style. Honestly, one of my favorite features about this gaming laptop is the fact that there's a charging port at the back, so it stays out the way, giving it a cleaner look. Additionally, this laptop is also entirely metal, which makes it feel really premium. Random opinion, the touchpad feeling and sound is really satisfying. With a 16-inch 2.5K display, 240Hz refresh rate, and an incredible color accuracy, every scene pops with vibrant colors and smooth motion, keeping you immersed in the action. So if you own a PC but you want a game wherever you go, or even want a game on your bed, this laptop is the answer. At this price point, it is definitely worth a check, because you're getting so much bang for your buck. But yeah, 
Thank you, Red Magic, for sponsoring this video. The day and night cycle moves sideways instead of vertically. And 1.1 thousand of you guys thought this was a good idea. Like, bro, what is wrong with you guys? Okay, so that took like five minutes of code, which is not a good sign. Oh, wait, it does work. Oh, no freaking way. <laughs> so what happens if I make this go a lot faster? Okay, so I've just made it 20 times faster. Uh, oh, <laughs> no freaking way. This is so weird. So I just see the sun is just still up. Oh, wow, the sun is rising up, but the sky is tripping like really bad. What in the heck is going on? Okay, so I've just made them rotate however they want. Whoa. That is so messed up. The sun has just set and that's why it's daytime and the moon is up in the sky. Now it's going to be setting. <laughs> the moon is like, I'm going to go up. Oh, never mind, I'm just going to fall down. <laughs> yeah, I've just added some couple more zeros and uh, what? What? Whoa. <laughs> Where did the sun go? I don't know. <laughs> What's happening? I think I've broken Minecraft a little bit too much at this point. Um... <laughs> the sun is just going fucking crazy. Make villagers defend themselves by throwing emeralds when you steal their stuff or attack them. Okay, so let's see if my code works. I really hope it works because I want to assault you. Let's see. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Yes, it does work. I have emeralds stuck in my body. This is really freaking nice. So whenever you go into a village... Wait, why are you killing the villager? Oh, wait, because I made villagers aggressive. That's probably why. I really hate you, Elliot. <laughs> That's pro... Oh, there's a villager feet, by the way. I can eat this. Okay, uh, you need to stop. Like, actually, just stop. There we go. So I'm pretty sure this also works with chest as well. Whoa, chill out, my guy. What in the heck? Why are you coming at me like that? They're waiting for me to mess up. That's probably why. They're like, they're watching me. No, we are just amazed by how ugly you are. I have your friend's leg. Okay, let's try this. Oh, no. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Make villagers eat grass and turn greener until they zombify. Pick up the grass. Pick up the grass, please. Yes! Okay, it's it's working, I think. I really hate you. Oh, yes, it's working! Okay, it has turned a little bit greener than before uh, because um, the villager has eaten a lot of grass. I like the fact that only his skin color is turning green, not his clothes, which is really realistic. You look really sick, man. <laughs> Are you okay? You need to go to the doctor. Fuck you. Okay, so I've just summoned a bunch of him, and uh, let's just see what happens if a bunch of villagers turn green. Oh, they're getting- they're turning green so fast, bro. They're eating so much. How are you eating like that? Oh, gosh. Okay, so it does work. Oh, my God. They're like, oh, why did my friends turn into a zombie, but I cannot stop eating grass plus because he's so good. This has to be the dumbest freaking idea I've ever coded. Make it so when you break a block, it grows legs and starts chasing you at max speed. So let's get it. Uh, survive mod and bam. Oh no, what is this? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the potato's still raining because uh, I haven't deleted the code yet. And as you see, the block is coming to uh, kill me. Oh no. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, oh. Let's see. I want to get killed by a tree today, you know? I feel like getting a kill. Oh, whoa. Oh gosh. Oh, whoa. What the freak? That's a grass block. Leaf block. <gasps> it works with this too. No freaking way. <laughs> oh my gosh. I have the best freaking idea ever. <laughs> this is gonna look so stupid, bro. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. Slime. Oh, wow. This looks so freaking cool. And rod. <laughs> it's a demonetization machine. Oh, that's not supposed to be like that. What does it look like that? Ew. Uh, bam. Oh, gosh. Um, hello? Oh! <laughs> okay, so I've just fixed how the head works and, uh, let's see. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay. Oh no, this is so freaking creepy. <laughs> Imagine you just wake up one day and there's a bunch of Element X heads just running around the street and nobody's out there because I have eaten every single one of y'all and you're the last one remaining. Oh no, there's so many Element Xs. Ah! And this is what happens when you get out the house. Oh gosh, this is why I never go outside and never touch grass. When you have no friends, you can just break a lot of blocks and uh, boom, you have so many block friends now. Now they all want to play with you. Oh, oh my gosh. What a nice mood setter. No! I'm gonna die. 
Wool chest? <gasps> they do! What? You start without a hotbar, and your hotbar is hidden somewhere in the map. I've just made it, and uh, they're not that hidden. <laughs> because I really suck at finding stuff. Like, I forget that I'm holding a phone in real life, and I start looking for my phone, using my phone's flashlight. But yeah, um, I have zero hotbars because I'm an idiot. Okay, and uh, if I were to get this hotbar, then I start getting hotbars. And I cannot even do anything because I only have one hotbar. Bam. I mean, yes, this is usable, but I only have one hotbar. So, bam. And now we have two hotbar slots. Three. Very nice. Eight. Nine. And there we go. You can eat your empty slot in your inventory. <laughs> That's a really stupid idea. But, um, but I've still coded it. Because I'm freaking fantastic. But yeah. If I were to right-click the inventory, I can take it out of the inventory or like the hot bar and I can hold it in my hand. But yeah, let me go in and eat my slot. And once I do that, this slot is completely gone. And yeah, it's completely unusable. <laughs> let me just eat this too. Nice. Eat, eat, eat. Very nice. So yeah, I only have like one, two, three, four, five usable slots because I've ate them. Like, I've ate everything already, and now I have four left. So whenever you eat something in real life, you have to uh, poop it out. So I've made it so that I can poop out slots uh, when you crouch. <laughs> you can poop them back out like this, and you can collect them, and uh, you're gonna have all the slots back. They have a little pickup delay, so that's why it's a little bit slow, but yeah. <laughs> this is so stupid. And the ability to piss. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so whenever I press uh, R, I can piss. If the piss hits the ground, there's a really small chance of foliage just growing because my piss is really nutritious. So this is normal pissing and this is confidently pissing. <laughs> yes, yeah. <laughs> I've also made it so you can piss in water as well. Oh. There we go. So I should piss. <laughs> the water gets yellower and yellower and yellower. If you place this right next to other blocks or other water blocks, it also infects it with the piss. Like, bro, the ability to piss this is actually really nice. Yeah. And I've also added the ability to piss on mobs as well. Piss. <laughs> and if I piss on them too much, guess what happens? They get pissed. <laughs> Get it? Get it? Oh my gosh. Ow! <laughs> because I have pissed them too much. They're really angry. Yeah! You like that, bro? You like that? Oh. <laughs> Think you're really cool with your wither power? Not really. With my piss, you're gonna be so yellow and ugly and disgusting. You know how much time I've spent coding this thing? Way too much. I think I've spent like an entire day of coding it. So lastly, in this video, I have randomized every single mob's AIs and stuff like this happened. Or if you're looking for the ultimate gaming machine that offers both portability and power, the Riot Magic Titan 16 Pro has you covered. I have owned a lot of gaming laptops and this is probably my favorite.